So today we're gonna be talking about the fastest way to level up in the Division Two. A lot of you guys wanna know, how do you level up this watch fast and efficient, and what is the easiest way to do it? So I'm gonna show you not only the fastest way, but it's going to be the easiest way to do it. There's a couple things you guys need to do. If you guys watched any of my previous videos, you might've noticed I was probably under 1,000 shade level, and now I'm at 1287. So how did I do it? First thing you guys wanna do is go to change global difficulty. Now you do this in your map, and you wanna put it on heroic. It's gonna give you the most XP. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have the ammo hoarders on, fog of war, fragile armor, and then ragers. Now have that on and then use the build that I have in the link. It's a status effect build. And the reason why this works so good is because you don't have to worry about any of that. The one one you can't have on is cool skills. Now after that, you want to make sure that you hit reset control points. Now what this is going to do, it's going to allow your map to be fully red. And when that happens, you'll start to get a lot of convoys. Yes, these resource convoys are going to be the best bet for you to level up your watch. Now, I'm going to show you how I level up. And I think we're leveling up every resource convoy. And it takes us about a minute 30 to beat each one and like another 30 seconds to find them. So we have this elite resource convoy. And then so we're going to go here. All we're going to do is fast travel to Grand Washington Hotel. It's going to be the closest one there. And then once we come out, we're going to go chase down that convoy. So we just got here and we know that the resource convoy is just ahead. But look, another convoy just came out in front of us. And that's why I tell you, if the full map is red, you'll notice that you'll get these a lot. So what we want to do is we want to pull this one away from the, there's a control point there. So we never want to fight in the control point. So just let them get outside of the control point. We're going to knock this one out. And then if we have time, maybe we'll go for this elite or we'll just find another one. So we're going to pull back. So they're out of it, and then we're gonna use the status effect build. Now you can either use a turret to help it go off, or you can run another status build. It's really up to you. But take a look at this. After we drop this one, usually you just have to find out where they spawn. Sometimes they spawn out of these manholes, and those are the easiest ones to get. Sometimes they spawn out of doors. But once you do find out where they spawn out of, it's really just trapping them with your skills. And since you're using a status effect skill, you just spam it at the door or spam it at the manhole. And it should be pretty easy to knock out. And what's great about this is you get approximately about 600,000 XP every time. And with this only taking you about a minute, minute 30 to knock out, it's not too hard. You probably level up almost every time you complete one of these. As you guys just saw, I leveled up right now. Once you clear that one out, just look for another resource. Look, we have two back to back here. So what I like to do is find one that I can actually intercept. So let's get one that we can actually cut off because there's a ton of them all over the map. And I found one right here, just north of, sorry, just south of this um, safe house. I think that's the one we're gonna go with. So yeah, we're gonna go to Truman safe house and then cut this one off. Now, I personally like running a chem launcher with the turret, but right here, I'm showing you that you can run two. We have a sticky bomb and we have a turret. So I'm gonna launch it off with the sticky bomb and then that's gonna spread the status. And then I'm also gonna use my chem. Oh, I didn't pull it out on time, my bad. Messed that one up. But the, the status effects are so strong that it ended up killing them anyway. So now we just have to really find out where they spawn from. So they spawn for this manhole right here, like I told you, either doors or manholes. So we're gonna hit this one right here. Just look at that, really easy and this guy took off. So we're gonna try to hit him with a sticky bomb. If we miss the sticky bomb, we'll definitely hit him with the, the chem launcher. So he's about to die. And then we know there's always three waves for these normal ones. So all you have to do is hit them with the sticky bomb and then chem launch them. So with these resource convoys, the regular resource convoys, there's always three waves. And I believe with the elite, there's always four. So the big difference between the two, if you get an elite one. And then after that, you just go collect the rewards and look another 600,000 and what? Under two minutes for that one too. So that's what I tell you, this is the fast and easiest way barely any effort to level up in this game. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, do you have to do it on Heroic? No, you don't, but I'm gonna tell you guys that is the most efficient way to do it. And then a lot of you guys are gonna ask, well, do you have to have four directives on? And yes, that's going to be the best way to level up. If you guys wanna be leveling up almost every single time you clear one of these, this right here is going to be the way to do it. And I just wanted to show you another one real quick. This one isn't from a manhole. This is actually from 
uh, doorway that was a little bit far away. So sometimes you don't get lucky and the manhole's not next to you or the door is not locked next to you, but you just have to try to position yourself in a way that you really can control the environment because controlling it is really gonna make it more efficient to do these. And I'm telling you, not only is this good XP, it's really fast and efficient. Hey, and you also get items. Items will drop. Every time you clear one of these, you will get an item in your backpack and who knows you might end up getting one of those god roll items but don't forget every time you do clear one of these you just have to go over these little resources right here and then you clear one so if you guys are looking for this build right here that i'm currently using for this that i think is the most efficient way to do this i will have a link to it in the description so it will be the first link in the description it will say build i'm currently using in this video status build and then i'll have a link to it so you guys can um definitely go over and check it out. If you guys have another way to farm these more efficiently and faster, let me know. I used to farm a lot of control points because I feel like you get a lot of loot from that way, but when you guys wanna just go for getting these levels really quick and doing them really efficiently, where you don't have to worry, I'm not even shooting, right? I'm just running, spraying my skills. This is right here. The number one way to do it. And you can do this solo, right? Because it's not hard at all. And with them always spawning either in a doorway or them spawning out of a manhole like you saw here, it's not hard at all. And this build just makes it a lot easier. So take advantage of this. Definitely use this. The best way to do it, 600,000 XP when you have four directives on and even a little bit more because every time you kill an enemy, you get some XP there. So... Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully this answered your question on what is the fastest way to level up your watch in the Division 2. And if you guys have any questions, as always, use the comment section down below. Remember, if you guys want to catch me live streaming the Division or any other game, twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills. The same name you see on here, nothing but skills on twitch.tv forward slash. And that's where you can find me streaming almost seven days a week. So enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, nothing but skills out.